Before Valentine's was released in Nigeria and was shown only in cinemas last year. Now it came onto Netflix like around the same time in February before Valentine's as the title says. So we, those of us who are in Nigeria and couldn't watch it, have had a chance to watch it. And you know what? I can't keep quiet. I turn with Manka, Mayari. So yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bevlin. If you are new here, do want to be part of the 1000 and counting, you know subscribers and do all to turn on your notifications so that whenever i post a new video you my friend will be notified so before valentine's hmm, full of god before valentine's i mean first of all let me talk about the salon i love the salon it's so beautiful it's spacious i mean look at the deco a blend of pink you know you get my pinky vibes yeah i got it from there a blend of pink white red the balloons the decoration so nice it was so nice it was so easy on the eye yeah it was so so easy on the eye now the space of the salon big enough for the performances big enough for the drama you know big enough for them to you know move around it was it was easy it was very 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 easy to watch i mean it w the movie was basically at the salon and it was so engaging you couldn't take your eyes off it it was so so engaging so how spacious it is helped with the story okay the decor beautiful the lightning oh the light that was used like the lighting was just great the lighting was good it was good it was good it was so on point so when she was about to perform there was this light that was flashed on her face and i'm like look at them like as if she was on stage or something like that it was it was just beautiful it was so beautiful now talking about sugar i mean from the word go when i saw the character i knew that there was something 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 fishy something smelly about this young lady and lo and behold, sugar sugared us. <laughs> sugar, she sugared all of us. So, you know, they all had these skeletons. I like how all the um, the hairstylists had, you know, skeletons. Starting with sugar. You know, she's acting like this, you know, Mama B, my mom is in London, my mom is in a village somewhere. Like, I'm bougie. I don't go out with people who are, you know, starting life afresh. She, she's not even... She, she, know, she didn't even know the guy's place. At the end of the day, look at what we saw. Like, really? She's like, I'm bougie. I don't want someone who is now suffering. In Ghana, we call it the baby. We don't want that. EMP. So, as for that one, dear, we know, like, we saw that. I mean, she's hiding her son and referring to her as a nephew in front of her friends. What would make you do that or make you take such a decision that if you want to you know live a certain kind of life we saw that and her skeleton i mean it's kind of normal you know people pretending to be what they are not just so you know they can feel big they, they can feel good they just want to assist, it, assist themselves with a certain class of people even though they are not there and that's like fake it until you make it isn't that what they say but one thing i like about sugar is the fact that i think she's bold because when the musicians came the big stars came and she, the man was like you know what send me an email send me a dm she was like no i could perform here and now because you are here if you are not bold enough you can't do that you'll say okay please can I have your email address and stuff like that if you if, if you were sugar you'd be like, okay thank you because you'll be like hey i have his email but she was like no i can perform here and now for you to see that no i am good and i should be on the track but <laughs> we all know how that ended I was like, hey, is she serious about it? So this is what she's been burning on the CD for her friends to listen to. Such torture. Now, let me go to Tamara. I know you are waiting for a particular character. But, you know, let me just keep you in the suspense. Let me go to Tamara. I think even though she would not admit it, she likes the idea of people saying that her driver was her husband. Because the driver is younger, he's handsome, well-built, and all that. Because if you didn't like the idea, how would your driver's picture appear on your phone when your husband is the one calling you okay even though she didn't want to admit she said oh she's not embarrassed about her husband her old husband she, she, she's not embarrassed she likes him she loves him and all that why would you use your driver's picture on your phone when your husband calls and we see your driver's picture so you can't even blame the, the husband accusing her say she has cheated and all that she's cheating with the driver she liked the idea she doesn't want to admit it now for philo philo didn't really have like skeletons you know he wasn't really pretending it's just that his girlfriend who was in the side safe and allowed her friends to get into her head which is common and happens you know so he didn't really have like 
any skeletons i think he's a good friend actually i think he's a good friend he's one who really cares even though they all gossip and what's happening in this person's life he takes a step further to come to you and say oh are you okay what happened are you okay and are you okay so i think he's a good friend he doesn't really have a lot you know to hide or yeah to hide from us now to the part the most interesting part you've been waiting for the highlights chica 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 as much as she shocked me no the lady shocked you too just said uh, when the friends were colleagues were like defending her chica can't do this chica can't cheat with your husband the switch do you know also abused the woman i was like mm. let me pause here then she rained insult then she rained insult i'm like okay understand she's human even though she's you know she's a christian and she's she, she she's devoted doesn't mean that you can just come in and rain insults on her and she will not just show any action but then she went on further and it's like hey he can't even enter what are you talking about he can't even enter i'm like huh a whole chica married to jesus on your shirt and you are telling us that he can't even enter he can't even enter are you serious like what is happening here what in god's name is happening here she shocked me to the bone i was like okay Let's calm down. Are you sure that's Chica? Are you sure that's Chica? She can't even enter her demonstration alone. <laughs> I didn't think that she had it in her. I, I really didn't think that she had it in her. I'm like, hey, is that Chica? Are we sure that's Chica? But actually, she, she switched. And we saw that, nah. Chica also has some... In fact, she had the biggest skeleton, I, I should say. Tamara doesn't come. Sugar doesn't come. She had the biggest, biggest, biggest skeleton. And you know, I don't blame Noah for not forgiving her. I mean, the foundation of their relationship, the trust has been broken. So if he's going to forgive her, I'm th I think every time he sees her, he's going to remember. Every single time he sees her, he's going to remember. So what's the point? He's going to judge her. So what's the point? What's the point? All for rent. Eh? And I'm sure that landlord was asking for two years, as most landlords do. Breaking people. Making them do things that they ordinarily wouldn't do. So you know, I I I don't really blame Noah for not um, forgiving her, and I also don't like the fact that they made Chica look so old from the beginning. I mean, just because she's a Jesus lover doesn't mean that Jesus lovers don't sleep. Have you seen Sharon Uja? You you can't say that because she's a Jesus lover, her hair is some way. She's wearing some skirt. She's wearing some shirt. Toby, she's looking so like. Please, Jesus lovers, we slay. Please, have you seen me? We we slay. Stop that. I didn't like the way she, 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 she was looking at the beginning and crash. She was looking so old. So at the point, I was like, ah, is she older than Noah? And then when they went for the dinner, you saw her. She looked so younger, so juicy, like so nice. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like, I didn't like that part, cry. I, I like, I don't appreciate it that Jesus lovers don't sleep and they look wretched and they don't style their hair, they don't do makeup, they don't look nice. They don't, oh, who told you? What's that? What's that? And oh, in the entire movie, they changed three times just three and they were all so on point like three times though three times so we can really have such movies but you can just change three times in the movie and the movie is so good the movie is so engaging it's just on point it's hilarious the comedy and the lessons in there i mean for max May God help us, may God open our eyes to see men who truly care, to see men who are helpful, like Max. May you see them. May God open your eyes. And not just go after flashy men who are married but do not wear their rings. When Max bought a man's khaki, did you hear him? He said, I'm supposed to go and pick my wife and my kids. And then you are here going around with my car, doing things for sugar and sugar. And so what? I'm like, hey, what is happening? And he's married and he's not wearing his ring. And he's even bought flowers for a girl who asked him out on a date. May God deliver us from all these men in the name of Jesus. <laughs> oh, wait a little. But seriously, Max is a good guy. We saw the, how he played his character so well. You know, had broken, but delivering the message anyway. And I was so excited to see Badge, you know, um, from the men's club. We call him Louis. So I'm like, I like his character. I think his character really portrays his personality. He's this funny guy. He's someone who teases a lot, you know. I was just, I was just happy when I was like, yay, Louis, yes. I was like, I was so excited to see him as well. Now to wrap this up, 
we saw that there is freedom in truth. When she got opened up to Tamara, we saw that Ali, it was easier to help her. So we need the support too that um, Tamara gave sugar. Everybody needs it. Everybody needs it. And the, the guests, they also came to make their hair. I like the fact that actually, that sugar actually knows how to do the crochet. Because as the, way, um, the movie was going on, she did it. Like she completed the entire hair. So that wasn't like something fake at all. I really like that part. And Ama, you know, there was an Ama in there. Like, yeah, you, you love, you love us. You love Ghanaians. There's Ama. The Ama character said like wise things. There's like reasonable things. Okay, you know what? Let me just end here. Let me end here. Let me end here. So um, leave your comments in the comment section of what you made of the movie. Let me know what you made of it. What was the most interesting part for you? Um, do well to like this video. Do well to subscribe and be part of the 1,000 counting subscribers. My name is Bevlin. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Ah, bye.